term uniquely known to Singaporeans to describe something enjoyable or pleasing. So, what's Shookadelic Nation all about? Who are they? And what is the band's purpose and role in Singapore? We started out just by wanting to play music together and playing a certain kind of music that we liked. Martin's sort of a musical a music veteran in the Singapore scene to me and a very good producer. Basically, if there's no groove, it doesn't cut it. So he's Mr. Groove. Fabian Lim was the first guy in uh, because I needed a saxophone player and he's, I think, one of the best saxophone players in Singapore. He realised that, hey, you know, a lot of people were paying attention to the little things that we were doing and putting out. And then many other people started to want to be part of this. And then we realised that, hey, this is a really good platform to create community. I think it's a good co collaboration and like, uh, I enjoy being um, part of this um, belongingness with other musicians in projects and in, in this band especially. Martin was my music director for my Ame show that was like eight years ago. Uh, and I've, I've been in many gigs together with the rest of the member like Colin and Fabian. And Fabian used to study together with me in Berkeley, you know, <laughs> when we were younger, yeah. I'm a film composer. I'm also a performer. I play keyboards for Stephanie San, Ame, David Tao, Angela Chang, and I'm also a teacher. Christine and I, we go way back and we've always been talking about, hey, let's jam together, but it never happened. And I think this COVID situation gave us an opportunity to, to, to see it come to reality. During the pandemic, uh, we all had nothing to do. I mean, most of our gigs were cancelled. Actually, we saw Martin uh, collaborating with Fabian on a song and then they loaded up on Facebook. I was like, oh, what's that? That's so nice. You know, we all wanted to join in. Shookadelic Nation is the brainchild of Martin Tang, who is the only Singaporean to have won the prestigious Taiwan Golden Melody Awards three times. He's a veteran in the music industry and has worked with top artists such as Stephanie Sun and Ame. The other person that came in about the same time is Colin Yong. He's great at what he does and he's a good bass player. I was uh, roped in as a bass player and also I get to do a bit of um, scoring, uh, audio editing, kind of recording stuff. I've been a professional musician for about 26 years. So I play bass and I play flute uh, and dizi, of course, uh, upright bass as well. Hi, my name is Sebastian Ho. I'm the guitarist for Shukadelic Nation. In my years of playing, I have played for uh, George Lam. I'm currently touring with him also, uh, with Kichan, and also I played with uh, Jeremy uh, Montero, our local hero. I have also done musicals like Lion King, um, Adam, Adam's Family, and Evita. Hi, I'm Terong. I'm the drummer from Sugar Daddy Nation, and I've been playing music for about uh, 16 years now. Professionally, as a drummer, 11 years. I've worked with Samuel Lowe's, Kit Chan, Atu, um, Ray Li An, Ray Bird from Taiwan. And with Martin, I feel like it's such an honour. As the youngest kid in the band as well, like, I feel I have so much to catch up. I only know he's a young up-and-coming drummer. And I thought, hey, this would be a good opportunity to work with somebody younger and to maybe translate the things that we have in our hearts from our generation to someone who's younger who can then take it with him uh, into his generation and, and, and move on with it. I'm the baby of the band, basically, yeah. <laughs> be strong, be cool, be one, be kind. As a super band made up of top musicians, naming the band Shookadelic Nation was a perfect Singaporean choice. Uh, this name, Shookadelic Nation, kind of formed up uh, because we're all having such a good time, right? An amazingly great thing, so it's very short. I mean, it's something that is so uniquely Singaporean. Why not use music to touch lives and to use it for great causes, especially at this interesting time like, that we face? Um, Martin has this idea to just gather the forces, all the Singaporean talents. I mean, primarily in the music environment, of course, but 
we have also started looking out to collaborate with uh, dance, uh, theatre people, and we hope to then see this thing grow into you know the beyond beyond the six of us. Lah. Yeah. The band was formed under an unusual situation during a global pandemic. It affected the members individually and forced them to adopt new directions. I'm actually touring because I'm uh, supposed to be touring for two artists concurrently. It's supposed to be a very busy year. When all that was postponed, I was actually initially quite worried of what was going to happen. 80%, I would say, to 90% of my income is derived from live performances and some recording uh, projects. We all had to really um, tighten our belts and we all had to find alternatives. Well, it was quite sien. I lost all my gigs and uh, because I was also running um, regular gigs at some venues, some hotels. So everything got shut down and yeah. I had to upskill. I had to learn new stuff because of my training and my experience and expertise. I have to move into parts of the music industry that I've never ventured in before, that are still commercially viable or rather are still allowed to actually operate during COVID. It so happened that I have another skill set which is uh, arranging and composing, which I have been doing all this while and teaching. So if not suddenly, right, you're like, oh, I don't have anywhere to, to do my work, you know, uh, the pub is closed, the events are cancelled. I got a job of uh, being a, a library music composer for Universal Music Production. Yeah, I went to the audition phase and I, I got the job and I started to work on that album that really paid my bills. In a good way, it gave me a break from the, the playing, I was playing quite a bit. Setting up a proper workstation in my house so I could get some work going. I was teaching. So I had my eggs in a few baskets. So it wasn't terribly bad for me. Quite bad, but it wasn't a death blow. I could still kind of uh, uh, pull through. Being concerned for mental wellness of our population was on the heart of Martin. The band's first project was thus a concert and a music video for Beyond the Label, an initiative by the National Council of Social Service. And I was having these conversations with the National Council of Social Service. I was thinking to myself, why not do like a concert? We proposed the idea and then having the opportunity to be with all these well-known personalities, I spoke to some of them and they all kindly agreed to be part of something that they felt was a worthy cause. And it really, really touched my heart that they came and they did it without asking for anything. Uh, when we were asked to join the Beyond the Label, we already had an idea to do an MTV, a collaborative MTV with as many artists as we can get to collaborate with. Uh, that's our style. We like to um, play fun music, really uplifting music, um, and collaborate with a lot of artists. We had people like Joanna Dong on it, Jack and Ray. They gave everything that they had for this. It showed that Singapore is not just a nation of heartless people. Uh, there are people out there who really, really want to give back to the nation and I see and I look at all these people and they just, they are my heroes. Ah. As the pandemic situation improved in Singapore, musicians turned to live streamed performances despite the challenges they entail and private patrons that made the virtual shows possible. Shikadelic Nation held their first live streaming on 6 November 2020. Technology itself is not new, but like bringing live performances up as a, as an ongoing thing is, is new. I think it has helped a lot of people throughout this whole whole period. You know, different studios doing live streams, especially Tone House, like they have been doing a lot for the community. Why why I decided for Tone House to pivot into live streaming is because the people that felt the most hit uh, were people like myself playing the F and B joints. When all that was gone. Uh, we need a place to put out our music, we need a place for bands to perform. As a live musician, we draw a lot from the audience, right? So the energy you can really feel. Basically, behind the camera, in the recording studio, you don't really feel that. And sometimes my cheat way is actually to go on Insta Live while recording. <laughs> so I feel like I'm playing for, for, for people, actually. Not hearing applause even, it's just something that is very alien to a lot of performers and it does affect them. 
I always try and clap for them if I'm in the room. And you can see the smile on their faces. They, they light up even if it's just one person clapping, one person enjoying themselves. Yay! Just finished Jam with Christine today with Shockadelic Nation. It was so fun, so impromptu. We were here to have fun and we were here to bring a, a positive message out there and brought a very shock message. There are sponsors. There are cash sponsors that have um, supported the bands and events here. One of them is like Eden Resources. My name is Christopher Chua and I chose to sponsor the Shokadelic uh, Jam with Christine session. During this time of COVID-19, the avenues for musicians and artists uh, to earn a livelihood and to express their passion and talents are very limited. So I felt that this was a very meaningful avenue and platform uh, for artists like Shokadelic uh, to come together uh, and to showcase their talents. Good night, everybody. Thank you. And in, um, in this setting, it was so fun for us, and we managed to give away some T-shirts. I, I think the audience had fun with us too because we did uh, something different. And I, you know, I look forward to do more of this. We are hoping that we will have more opportunities to just bring this vibe out to the people here in this nation more often. Yeah. Peace. What lies ahead for Shokadelic Nation in Singapore's music? Oh, we are actually in the, in the midst of working on another music video uh, with uh, NAC, uh, National Arts Council, that would showcase Singapore, her people, the culture that's here, the unity that we have. So the video is actually for you, for me, to realise that we are positioned well. Uh, we are not perfect, but we count our blessings before anything else. Singapore is more than you envision her to be. People are always talking about the best airport, the best airline. No, Singapore is more than that, okay? Uh, maybe we can look into the area of being a more caring nation. Come, come and taste Singapore from a different perspective. So that's the video. Music is the great catalyst and leveler of all men. A catalyst not just to bring people together, but to bring people together into a place of change, la. Not, not just without, but from, the, from within also. Um, you know, I think music is the only language that really truly can touch the greatest faculty of your mind, which is your heart. La. The band was also formed for community outreach. We should continue to uh, reach out to even more people. We can sort of uh, bring the nation together through this pandemic, you know, with our, with our songs and dance or whatnot and getting all the um, young and old talents together. So I, I feel like that is our voice and that, that is our part. It's a lot about like the stuff that we try to bring, give back. We try to collaborate with as many of the artists in, in Singapore as possible. We want to create a movement. I hope that Chocodelic Nation would uh, eventually expand to include even more musicians and support for local, uh, art, the local arts community and music and hopefully expand beyond Singapore and bring this positivity through music right to, to the world. I, I think as, as much as it sounds really like a, a big dream, I think it's possible in, with today's um, technology. I, I as for one, I want to see uh, the Singapore sound or the Singapore music um, really get into the inter inter international scene. I, I know some of them are out there doing really great work. Uh, but to really, really have that, you know, happen in my lifetime would be the greatest joy for me. Yeah.